And you're looking long term now. How, what's the hardest thing about thinking long term as a publicly traded company? And this is where our partnership comes from. Like you'd ask and say, did we have a did have a big idea of the vision of what the company would look like or not? Like, look, I wanted I wanted to, I wanted to sell a shirt today, and I wanted to sell as many <laughs> as I could at the time. And so that ability to actually have a partner come in who helps us think better about what is not only the three, but what's the five. Frankly, what's a ten-year plan for this brand too? So, look, I want to I want to run down the hill as fast as I can, and that's sort of been the defining of the company. And that's where now having a partner that helps us think about all right, which way are we going to go? We going to the left or the right of that tree? Which way? Because we're not going through it. So we have to be thoughtful and let that's you know. That's we've great. never been afraid to go through that tree when we had to. Is, though, and is there anything that an investors or analysts say that you feel like they really misunderstand? Is there one thing that really gets to you? Uh, you know, I, I think this is a this is a company that is that is it's on the come. You know. I think that's where what people don't understand is when you look through the transformation we've been through, this is strong entrepreneurial upstart company built and driven by a lot of momentum. And then it was, all right, how are you shifting into actually being a large scale format company? And so what comes with that, the last, you know, the last few years, a lot of people have had opinions about what does it mean to make that transformation? You know, still, if I look back at this chapter, 17, 18, 19, we'll have grown this company more than half a billion dollars over that time, implemented a new go-to-market strategy, implemented a new global operating model, um, get away SAP. from a, a North American company that's selling product in other places, upgraded our systems, like really yeah. re retooled our entire management team and said, you know, who, who's here and who's ready? You know, brought in our, our president and chief operating officer, just watching all that synergy come together. For me, it's been, it's been great, but you know, it is human. And so those are the things that come out and say, yeah, I don't know, it won't always look smooth on the top, and, um, uh, but it means that you know, we're moving forward. I mean, it's yeah, the, and I think you know, from, from my perspective, being kind of still the new boy on the block, or not a rookie anymore, I've passed that stage, I think, but you know, just thinking about the fact that this is now the third largest athletic brand in the world, having done that, having grown that fast underneath of two really large brands, you know, that's incredible. They were never able to do that. We've been able to do that. So now that we've got our stuff together, now that our innovation pipeline is stacked, now that we're going from defense to offense, now that we're going to become a louder brand, you know, I'd bet on it. I'd bet on us. And tell me about your partnership. What's the strongest and hardest part about working together? The strongest and hardest part, it's I think. Human. It's human. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> having been here for two years now, I think we know each other really well. And I think, you know, I, I have incredible respect for, for what Kevin has created here. I think. And the fact that he's entrusting me to, to help him, you know, get to the next level with this amazing brand that we both want to be eternal. Um, you know, it is a partnership, right? It's like a marriage in some ways, right? You, you've got you to respect each other. You've got to understand what drives each other, you know, what, what both the strengths are from both sides. And I think what's really unique about our brand, our company, our future is the fact that you've got the yin, yin and yang here to some extent, right? In terms of Kevin's enormous entrepreneurial drive, brand, understanding of brand, understanding of, of the, the merchandising capability of a big brand with, with some of the stuff that I've done in my past, which is also driving big brands, understanding brand, but also having the operational experience to be able to really help us get to the next stage. Yeah, that yin and yang has been critical, but you know, we work at it, you know, we, yeah. we make sure we, you know, we sit down and we'll, we'll see each other throughout the day, but we'll have sit downs at least twice a week, yeah. you know, we'll do, blowout session of, you know, two, three, four hours, you know, once a month and just make sure like that communication, the over communication, because it is, it's meeting where you find it's the, the strength and diversity that comes together. And so uh, we like a lot of things, but we, you know, we can mix it up too. Because yeah. this is, it's strange. You gotta be able yeah. to do that. And yeah. then walk out of it and, you know, be aligned at the end of the day. And Never I, go to bed angry. No. <laughs> Never, Never go to bed angry. <laughs>